Hi guys, James here from plumberparts.co.uk and today we're going to be looking at a brand new product. Excited to tell you about this product because it's one that's been developed in the UK by someone who just thought about a problem and found out a way to solve it. And that is the Rad Mag, this thing here. I'm going to show you how it works, what it does, how to install it. It's super easy, it'll be easy for you as a DIYer, but also plumbers and installers will want these in their vans as well. If you want magnetic filters on your heating system and you don't have the required skills to install one, or you're a plumber and you can't find enough pipe work to cut a full on magnetic filter in, then the Rad Mag is gonna be the solution for you. You can buy these on our Amazon store, I'll leave links to them below. Let's get on with the video guys. Remember to hold tight. Let's do this. Before we get started with this video, I'd like to ask you to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's really important and helps the channel grow. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So every heating system out there in the UK, whether it's fully installed properly and really well treated, could create a thing called magnetite, or we call it sludge. Sometimes when you crack a nut on a radiator, you'll see this black water coming out. We don't want it in the system. We want to get rid of it. It can group up in the bottom of radiators. It can stop our boilers from working properly. It can stop the radiator valves working properly, and it can stop the pumps, the heartbeat of the system from working properly as well. A lot of the time, you could install a inline magnetic filter that means you're gonna to have to cut a bit of pipe out. You do need to have really good, decent plumbing knowledge to do that sort of job. And sometimes people just don't have that. Or you don't even have a piece of pipe that you can get at in the right place on the return to the boiler to get that installed. But there is now something that you can do about it. And that is install the Rad Mag that we've got here today. These are brand new. They've been developed in the UK by one guy who thought, hold on, there's something I can do to solve this situation. How about we come up with a magnetic filter that can be easy easily installed inside a towel radiator to get rid of that magnetite. It's a solution that DIYers like you, if you're watching right now, you could do this, you can get one of these and you could install it in under five minutes. Seriously easy to do. So let's have a look inside the box at one of these products and how they work. So we've got the rad mag in there. We've got our instructions, which are for once incredibly well laid out, very easy for you to understand, very easy for you to do. It's a simple product, guys. So the demonstration of me fitting one of these in my home, which we're gonna do in a minute, it's gonna be really simple and easy for you to follow. The bit at the top, this piece here, is the bit you're gonna see in the top of the radiator when it's all done. At the top of that, we've got a small bleed key, just like you'd normally see on the bleed key of a radiator. And we're gonna be taking that out and replacing all of that with this product in a few minutes time. We actually look at the magnetic filter itself. Here is the magnet, this piece here. It's getting on for about eight or nine inches long. These two plastic pieces here act as uh, a way for it to centralize the magnet inside the radiator when it's pushed in, but also they've got holes in them as well. So the flow of hot water going around the radiator when the radiator is in use is not inhibited. So then you get, you know, a nice radiator still getting lovely and warm and all that. Now you might look at this and think, well, if I put this into the top of my towel rail, like James is going to do in a minute, it's at the top of the radiator and my towel rail is a thousand millimeters high or something like that that's not going to catch much magnetite is it and let's try and say that after a cup of tea that's not going to catch much magnetite that's not going to catch that's not going to catch much magnetite that's not going to catch much magnetite is it get him but the guys at radbag have thought about that and look <laughs> it's telescopic so you can feed this down into a radiator like so, and it'll get right down into where that main flow of water is going. I would recommend that you install one of these if you're thinking about doing this. I, I mean, I've got a magnetic filter on my system already, but I'm going to install this on the ensuite towel rail. And also when I've finished the bathroom refurb, and there's going to be some more videos about that soon, I would install this on the bathroom towel rail as well. And then when I do my boiler service, or when I have a look at the system and drain down, I would just whip these out, clean them off and pop them back in as part of a normal service. Just so you know as well, the length of the rad mag when it's fully collapsed is about, is about 33 centimeters. When it's fully extended, like so, it's 81 centimeters or 80 centimeters. You could pop this in your radiator and if the radiator was a 600 high one, quite a small towel rail, you could pop that in the bottom and just keep pushing and then pop this in and then do it up and then that would be installed working properly. If you've got a really long radiator, just extend it out as fully as you can and push it in there fully, okay? 
You've seen how wicked these products are. Why don't we go and install one now at my home and you can see how it works. Let's do this guys, oh yeah. So here we are back at my house in my lovely ensuite and look, I've got the perfect thing to show you here exactly how to install one of these and how quick it is to do it. You don't even really need to turn the heating system off. You shouldn't really lose any pressure if you've got a pressurized system and if it's a gravity fed system it will refill itself anyway. First thing you need to do is just isolate the radiator at the valves. When I say isolate I mean turn the radiator off. Come down with me. So pop that like that. If the radiator is balanced and these are balanced try to remember how far you turn this when you closed it so you can rebalance it again. So look, that wasn't much at all, so that's shut now. And this side should be roughly similar as well. So I'm just turning them off now. Now you've turned the radiator valves off, all you need to do is get yourself a towel, do what I've done here, and pick one that my wife's just washed. But I picked one that, you know, if there is any mungy water in here, then at least it won't be too bad. Get right and have a good look at this. So what we're gonna do is take off our old air vent just by loosening it off like that. Oh cool, there is a little bit of dark water in there actually. How about that? Whip that off like so. Well, if it has got a bit of munge in there, then... <laughs> munge is the technical plumber parts term for sludge in the water. But it also is the lovely fatty bits on the joint of beef. And look, now, so simple to do guys. I'm gonna extend this down, okay, that far. If you imagine this radiator now, our beast is going to be down here. The flow on this radiator does come in on this side here, but you can put it on either side. As long as it gets an adequate amount of water flowing over the top of our magnet here, it should start to filter quite successfully. So we just pop that in here like so. I'm going to pop it all the way in. A little bit of water is going to come out because we're displacing that water as we push this down. In it goes. Same for that. Oh. <laughs> Little bit of water. Best laid plans here in the Plumber Parts Band. Just gonna feed that all the way down like so. Get my adjustable spanner again. Do that up. There you go, it's installed. Before I turn the valves on down low, now just grab yourself an adjustable, nip up the bleed, like so. It also comes with a slot at the top as well, so you can use an adjustable spanner on that if you like. Then we pop back down here and reinstate the system. I'll give them just that quarter turn that they had earlier on. And there you go, you're all done. So now what would happen is you'd have a whole year of this running away, doing its job, getting rid of all that magnetite and everything out of the radiator and out of the system as well and helping your system to stay healthy. Then while you're doing something like, I don't know, a yearly type thing like servicing the boiler or whatever, you'd go round and you just check these two here, take them out and give them a clear off. Here's how you do it. So we would, guess what? The first thing we do is we would turn off the valve yet again. Any pressure in here, we would now can bleed out. Right, that's all good. And then we'd use our adjustable spanner to undo. And then we'd carefully take it out, just give it a little wiggle as it goes. You can if you're, the good thing about this as well, that if you've got a tall radiator that's near a ceiling, you can take it out and collapse the telescope as it comes, which is kind of handy. And uh, nearly there. Oh wow, look, it's actually got magnetite on it already. I mean, this isn't a year later, guys, just so you know. We're obviously filming this. Look, and we've got magnetite on here from my system already. So what you then do is we clean this off Bit of tissue paper on there. And look, it can see on the paper already that we actually have some stuff on it. You believe that? That is good, I'm really impressed with that. Like, bearing in mind it's been in there for about three seconds, that is great. <laughs> so now, I think a lot of you guys out there, DIYers, who might be worried about maybe doing a job like this, 
you now know that you can do it yourself. There we go. That radiator is now not only protected itself, but also it's protecting the rest of the system. And there you go. That's it, it's done. So we then just nip this up here, pop back down here again. Like I did earlier on, just give this a crack. So that way, so the system will be pressurizing now and then we'll turn it up like that. I've actually got the, the heating on right now. So I'm just gonna get some flying around here a bit. But then we go back up to here and we just bleed off. There was a little pocket of air at the top which says not gonna be much. There we go. And that's bled off and that's it job done how to put a magnetic filter inside your tower radiator in five minutes without any plumbing knowledge whatsoever great for DIYers and I don't want DIYers to be a derogatory term you know it's a great thing for you guys to be able to look after your own system that's half of what this channel is all about but also it's great for plumbers as well if I was doing a house with four tower rails in I would just put in my price four rad mags as well to go in with those tower rails and just think how much less maintenance less trouble you're going to get over the years if you have these installed alongside all the other things we can do to keep magnetite down on a heating system so guys thanks ever so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed today's plumberparts.co.uk video if you want to get yourself a rad mag then click on our amazon store link below you'll be able to find the rad mag there in our amazon store under products featured in videos these are absolutely great the cost is very very small for what they do really really good so click on that i hope you've enjoyed the video comment below as to what you think about these hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Plumber Parts video. Hold tight! We have got a competition for you to win one of four rad mags. All you need to do is click on the link to our Instagram competition below, in the description below. Follow the instructions on that Instagram post and you could win one of four rad mags in the week after this video was published on YouTube. So check it out. Thanks ever so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the like, and I'll see you later. Hold tight!